what's going on? It's DuConrad1, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. I have a special treat for you today. Um, I am going to be showcasing to you Ambarinha. Ambarinha. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it is a medieval Mediterranean city with an Eastern style influence. And it is an absolutely beautiful project by the Libra Build team. If you guys want to go check this out for yourself, just go ahead and head over to the Planet Minecraft link in the description. It'll take you right over to their Planet Minecraft and you can download it for yourself. Make sure that you have the mods downloaded and such. Um, it'll lead you through that and uh, you can figure that out. And uh, you can see this awesome creation and um, be able to explore it because there is probably two hours worth of exploring in here if you really want to go through everything maybe even more than that there's a lot to see a lot to do and I'm sure a lot of secrets but we won't be going through all those secrets we're just going to be looking through this and enjoying the exteriors and a few of the interiors as we go by them anything that really kind of um, pokes out at us and that uh, makes us interested to go inside and see what there is so anyways yes the library build team has built this they have a time lapse of it a download and everything um so go check that out and lyra has now um joined with the new heaven i think the new heaven or new haven i forget build team um so now it's live raven and so the two teams are now one and they are um going to be building some awesome projects here in the future so i'm pretty excited about that they are now accepting english members all you gotta do if you want to um if you want to apply just go ahead and apply uh over to their team on their planet minecraft or their youtube they have links there just you can just find them wherever they are and um, you check that out so they used to only accept French individuals into their team but now they accept English as well so uh, yeah there is that so but yeah they have some amazing conquest builds going on uh, I really enjoy going through what they have done and especially this project um, I've really enjoyed exploring this I've been exploring it off camera a good bit and uh, so now we are going to be exploring it together and so basically the idea of this build is that it is a um, a major trade port between our uh, air in the eastern Mediterranean Sea I'm sorry um, and so the main um, thing going on here is trade. And so there's a council of merchants, like the higher class merchants, the ones that, um, you know, make all the deals and decide the fate of, you know, where the routes will go through, you know, and um, decide the military uh, intervention and uh, protecting those routes from pirates and such. Um, you know, that's where they would all be decided. And then they work through the king, who I imagine has... Um, traitor's blood uh, in his uh, in his veins flowing through his veins but anyways yes the idea is that there is a big trade thing going on here and uh, there's a lot of professions and a lot of things going on and that's that's really what an island town really needs is trade um, if it did not have trade an island town would not exist because obviously an island cannot cultivate the resources in order to self-sustain um, especially on a scale of this size you know the islands only so big and then the city is like this it takes up maybe three quarters of the island uh, maybe half the island um, even then the, you know the, you don't have room for all the fields and stuff and such and that's the same kind of thing with sea bridge is um, I, there's really no room for fields and such and so we have to um, uh, make so the towns depend on trade in order to survive so just make sure if you're ever going to be building a uh, town on an island and such, make sure that it is believable in the sense that its uh, trading network is established because um, it would not be able to self-sustain. Unless if there's some fantasy magical aspect to it where there's maybe fields underground. That's a wild idea. But anyways, but yeah, this is a pretty cool build going on. I've really enjoyed uh, walking through and there's a lot of things to see. And uh, you'll notice that there's lots of, uh, you know, different foods and bread. Um, there's even a skull back here. There we go. That's a nice little detail, a little skull poking out, looking at you. Gotta love the little details like that. Um, little bags of stuff all around. The docks are full of ships. Some of these ports or some of these docks aren't, uh, they don't, aren't full of ships like, you know, 
they aren't docked there so it indicates that there's plenty of room for more ships to come in and as you can see there's one sh uh, small fishing boat coming into dock right now but that's another thing is um, a a city like this would need a ton of fishing fishing vessels. Maybe a lot of them are out at sea, but I'll, I can see one, two, three, four. There are four fishing vessels that I can see, and a bunch of canoes I imagine all around in order to uh, go out into the water and fish and such. But still, that's I guess I, I guess that's one critique is uh, there should be a lot of fishing vessels, maybe like ten or fifteen or so. Um, you know, not even, they don't even have to be this big, you know, they can be smaller than that, but, you know, there should be more fishing vessels in my opinion, but, uh, either way, it still works, still looks great. So I think that this is the main route in order to get up, and again, another critique is, um, the road, uh, is, it's another, it's a thing that's really hard to do, um, but the one thing that, uh, Wester's Craft really does well, um, this goes, this is like completely off, well it is, it's on subject because we're talking about roads, but uh, you'll notice that most of the roads on Wester's Craft are very realistically sized, you know, if there's a road through the city, it's, you know, big enough to accommodate carts and, you know, the traffic that would be going through the city at that, you know, at whatever time but you know with con I don't know with conquest it just feels too bland if you make roads that big but um, but anyways like here like even in my you know everything that I've built too you know it's so hard to make streets big enough for carts and such because you just have this overwhelming desire to detail and put in um, stuff in order to uh, fill it up and such you know and build the houses into it and there's like hardly any room for any carts or anything through these streets but um you know, it is what it is, it still looks great, and I really enjoyed, um, or I am really enjoying exploring through it, so. But yeah, um, there are fields on the island, as you can see here, there are a few. Um, there are vineyards over there to make wine. It looks like there's just this one field over here of wheat and maybe like a small garden there. And then there's a few gardens around, as you can see, we have berry bushes around the houses and such. Um, some apples, some apricots or pears. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of you know fruits and vegetables as the Mediterranean climate. I think fruit and everything grows year round here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure what the seasons are, but um, the climate, it doesn't get cold. And so everything's able to just continue growing. Um, and I think, I know there has to be a break at some point. So there, I know there's a season and everything, but uh, I'm pretty sure that at all times of the year, there's going to be some kind of fruit or vegetable growing in order to sustain. But still, one way or the other, there's still not enough fruit and vegetables uh, on the island in order to feed the populace of this city. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. So now we're going to keep going on. I love the gardens and the beautification, the... Um, you know the parks you know it feels very homely it feels very welcoming and that's a really cool thing um, everything is in French so you know I can't read any of it because I don't know but okay so I definitely know that okay let's learn some French so armory so what does that sound like it sounds like armory uh, from the English so yes it is an armory okay so that's really cool um, maybe did armor armorier did armory derive from the English word, or did the English word derive from that? I don't know. Maybe they derived from a uh, Latin word or something together. Who knows? That is a uh, good, good question. Someone answer that down below if you are French. There's a lot of French words that I don't know. Actually, <laughs> I don't even know any French words. So, um, bonjour. That's one word I know. Um, so, yes, bonjour to you all. What is bonjour? Is that good morning? I don't know. I noticed another cool thing over here. I really like this idea where they stockpile water. Obviously an island would be surrounded by salt water unless if it's in a freshwater lake, in which case that this would be one big lake. But anyways, um, even, even so, uh, they need some fresh water to drink. And so here we have a system in order to uh, collect water, rainwater that comes down from the mountain here. As you can see, the stream would build up water here in this little pool, and then they would pump the water out and into this tank so that they could use for whatever they would need to use it for. Um, it'd be very difficult to get to, but you know they could bring their little buckets of water up, 
come across this very difficult, you know, this very uh, iffy bridge. Um, I would hate to be the unlucky person when maybe one of the boards is too rotten to walk across and then it collapses on them. But um, anyways, yeah, but still you can come over here and grab your uh, water and go water your flowers, um, get water for your family, etc. So we're going to keep walking this way and see what there is to see. It looks like there's a little house right here. Um, it looks like it's just a house. There's really nothing too special to it. Very small interiors. Uh, this is something I always have a difficult time with is making interiors this small. Like up here is pretty good. I'm okay with that. But like, like here is just so small. It's tiny, but uh, it is what it is. And it looks like this is where the uh, stuff ends. So we're gonna go ahead and do some off-roading. We're gonna go ahead and run up the mountain here and then we're gonna start flying. Whee! Um, so this here, I imagine, is the merchant's guild. This is where all the merchants would come. Um, like, instead of going, you know, they probably go to the castle too, but the merchants would go here. This is the rich district. As you can see, it's separated into three districts. You got the poor district down there, indicated by the jungle wood roofs. And then you come up here, and then this, as you can see, is the red clay roofs with the jungle border. That is the middle class. And then when you go up here and you see it's primarily sandstone and the red clay, that is where the rich district is and more like the um, like the manor houses and such, um, the really nice houses. And this is also one of the richer houses here. And um, But this isn't the house. This is a like an office building, which would I would presume is where the merchants do their primary um, deciding on how things go you know uh, this is where like the head merchants would come to decide um, how things would work and you know routes and like we were talking down by the docks so um, pretty cool I really like that and um, but yeah a pretty nice big building for them to meet and do their thing and then so now we're gonna go ahead and keep heading up let's see if there's anything else specifically interesting for us to see it looks like we got a little place to do our duty do down here um, a place where they would throw all the crap. Uh, maybe that's compost. I'm not sure, but still it would stink up through that window probably, but um, yeah, it is what it is. And then here we go. We got a garden, um, a very necessary thing and a little garden for them to grow some fruits and vegetables for their, um, this could probably feed a family uh, for a year. Probably not. I don't know. Probably for a few months. Because uh, one family, like say if it's a family of four, maybe a mom and a dad, and then um, the two kids, uh, yeah, that would be a lot of food. So here now we are in the amphitheater. This is actually a really cool thing. I was actually expecting to come to this later on, but kind of stumbled upon it early. But one way or the other, it's an amphitheater. As you can see, you got the bleachers up here where everyone would sit and watch the plays. Um, and then the royalty would be up here, I guess the king and then the queen and I guess the prince or something would be there. And this is where they would watch uh, the plays from up here, um, the productions from, maybe the merchants are trying to advertise their goals to the king. And so the king's like, oh, that's a really good idea. Let's try that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I like that. And also it's a good way to uh, entertain the populace and uh, increase morale of the people. So um, but yeah, as a city is being built, you always got to keep that kind of thing in mind. So now we're going to go over here, continue down these roads and see what there is to see. And what is there to see? We got the Resto Chez Gal. Uh, this looks like a restaurant or a tavern. Uh, we got a kitchen back here. Really cool. Yes, yeah, so definitely a restaurant. As you can see, plenty of seats. Plenty of uh, places for the people to sit down and uh, do their thing, eat lots of food. And I imagine this would lead down to a, a pantry down below or a cellar. And if we can get unstuck, that would be great. Thank you very much. We'll head down here and this should be a cellar down here. Yes, it is. Pantry where all the food would be kept. Um, Cause obviously if you have a tavern or a restaurant, you would need a lot of food in order to feed all your customers. And uh, so yeah, but transporting that food up here would be hell to pay because that would be quite a difficult feat getting up these little small streets, but um, still it looks great. It looks great. That's all that matters, right? If it looks great, that's all that matters. And look at this. We stumbled upon a construction site. This is really cool. Um, another thing that's a really cool thing to add into your builds is construction sites. You want to try to add these in in order to make it look really cool. Um, 
you know, you want to, you know, these, this is like a fine detail, like a uh, construction sites, a collapsed house, abandoned house, uh, who knows, you know, there's a lot of different, different things, you know, even, a, um, you know, a, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it when a demon, a possessed house, you know, like, uh, the evil has possessed it, or maybe some kind of creature has made it its dwelling in there. Who knows? Um, but going on that subject, here is a collapsed house here that I really uh, thought we should uh, get on, or that we should talk about. As you can see, it looks like the cliff has given way due to um, the rain eroding the cliff away, and then the foundation looks like it gave way, and then it collapsed into here. Hopefully, nobody died. I don't see any skulls. It looks like... Um, they knew that it was going to collapse and they were like, oh, let's get out of here That would have been really funny though if they had a skeleton down here to indicate the dead body But then again realistically the family would have collected the body of their dead loved one and buried them Which reminds me where do they bury the dead? All right, and also another thing that I want to tell you guys about is um, the lore of the island is that when the col col when the colonials got here uh, the colonists got here um, there were an original inhabitants on this island over here they lived in caves and as you can see there's a lot of little caves over here that you can explore I'm not going to go through them um, but you guys if you really want to explore through over here it's like an ancient culture sort of Aztec -y, I guess a uh, little place for uh, people to live and so very primitive culture and then the colonists um, assimilated these people into their culture and so now they live together so um, pretty interesting kind of thing going in there nice little bit of lore that I thought was a pretty cool idea and as you can see you got sort of old roads going across and such like that um, but yeah this here is the vineyard you got down here this is a mill um, a pretty interesting mill design in there uh, I'm not gonna go in there you can just see in there I don't feel like um, going in and checking it out but as you can see I really like this design out here you got the bunch of trap doors holding it together um, the stream would flow up and over and it looks like the wheel would spin this way it would go um, clockwise it would spin clockwise and uh, anyway the water comes from here uh, from up here how would the water get up here okay so then there's a little spring up here hmm I'm not quite sure how the water would spring up this high I, I don't know like how would a bubble up that high and then there's another there's, there's a lot of water coming from up here um, basically guys uh, if you're going to have water make sure that it has like a believable like you know runoff like it starts off really small from way up in the mountains and it comes down but then again it's Minecraft so you can't really um, can't really go past that can't really fix that so um, looks like this is a lumber mill uh, but if it's a lumber mill then how would they saw the wood Oh, they saw it. No, this is a storage mill. Okay, it's a place where they would store the wood. And then up here is where they would... Oh, there we go. Here we have a saw. And where would the water come through? As you can see, there's all this system here. And then there, that's a really cool saw. That is a really cool design. Good job, Lyra. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, you got a little place where they would um, either roll the lumber up. No, that's this is where they would just uh, push the lumber down, like the uh, already cut up lumber. And this is where they would they would bring the cut down lumber here, like the logs. They lift the logs out of there from this crane, and then they would put it over into here. But where? How would that saw operate? I don't see anything in order to operate that saw okay I'm really confused I, I don't know I don't know maybe they just forgot to do that but uh, still pretty cool design I like that really nice got some vineyards over here and then there is the uh, the winery right in this cave right up here which I thought was pretty cool design you know not typically uh, you would have a winery in a cave but still the wine press would be down here um, Lots of storage for all the wines along the walls and such. And then this is where the wine press is. 
Uh, they would press the wine there, they'd put the grapes in, the grape juice would flow into these pots, and then they would ferment, they would put on all the necessary ingredients like yeast and whatever they would use to make wine, and then they would ferment it and um, they would uh, provide it for drink because uh, water would be contaminated, but that's medieval water. Like the water from here, I don't think would be contaminated, but I don't know. And then you got plenty of uh, wine barrels in here, lots of cool little things to store the water, uh, store the wine in, and taste it, um, and see if it is good enough for the royalty of this island, um, which we're going to actually make our way up to now. I'm going to go ahead and make my way up here to the rich district. I haven't actually explored through uh, the wealthy district yet and seen what are in these houses. But I imagine there's some pretty cool stuff. We're going to go in here and see what there is. Lots of wine down here. Um, because if you're rich, you have the money to buy all the wine. But it looks like you can't really go anywhere from there. Like There's no way to go up from here. So you have to go out that door. And you'd have to go up through here and up. Let's just explore one of these houses and see the interior. Um, we got a fireplace over there, a little place to sit by the uh, fire, um, a little dining room table, a place to eat your meals, uh, some storage over here, and I'm guessing this would be a kitchen. Yeah, this looks like a kitchen. Very, uh, very briskly detailed though, um, but still pretty cool. You come up here, and what is there to see? We got a little garden, little patio out here where you can enjoy the beauty of nature. And then you would come in and a little office. Now I imagine there would be a bedroom somewhere nearby. Oh, this is cool. A little lounge area. I really like this room. That's cool. Very cool. Cool, 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 cool. And you come in here and then this is the bed. Alrighty, that's cool. A little wash basin and such over there and a little porch to look out over the island from there. And I think that that is it. I don't think there's any more ways to get around. A little abandoned room back there, or a little storage room, I'm guessing. Is there any more up above? It looks like there should be, but there's not. Okay. Well, anyway, that's pretty cool. We got a bell tower. Yeah, this is a bell tower here. Um, I like that design. That's pretty cool. Or maybe it's a wind chime. I'm not quite sure. Why are these metal things here? I, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not a wind chime. <laughs> I'm pretty much guaranteed it's not a wind chime, but still, one way or the other. Pretty cool. I like that. And then you come over here. This is the entrance into the castle here. Let's just take a quick look around the castle real fast um, so you guys can have a nice little view of it. As you can see, we got sort of like this is like a guard area over there. We have a bell, and it looks like they have a cross, so I'm guessing they are Catholic, a Catholic religion, which reminds me, I, don't, I haven't seen any churches in this town, um, but still pretty nice. Um, we got a nice little, I like that style of roof right there. It's pretty cool. We could keep going around. That's the keep right there. We got some halls and places uh, for them to do stuff. Looks like this is the chapel in here. Yes, it is. All right, so that'll be an interesting thing to explore. I would love to see that. I haven't seen the chapel yet. We come around, looks like we got um, another hall there and such like that. So let's go ahead and head into the uh, place here real fast. Um, so we have our first line of defense where the soldiers can be up there shooting down and uh, be I guess it'd be pretty easy for people actually to get ladders up here and try to get in there. But still, they come through here. There's a porticollis, um, a couple murder holes. Uh, what they would do is they, like these bags up here. Whoops. These bags up here, they would just kind of poke them. Um, they would open those up first. And they'd poke those bags and the bags would be full of oil, pour oil down, and then they would light it with a fire arrow or a torch or something, who knows. So here's our first porticullis. You come into a kill box because there's another porticullis here. So basically you'd be being closed in here. And then uh, the soldiers, the defenders would be up along these ramparts shooting down on the enemies. And then once they get through that, then they are home free into the castle. This probably would be block it, blocked up though with carts and what who knows what else. We got some stables along here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn on lighter shaders now in order to make it look a little bit better. Um, but we wanna try to move on now because we don't want to spend too much time. I like these style of gardens. 
I've always liked this style of gardens and I want to try to add these into um, if I ever were to make a castle of this style or of a uh, like these are French style gardens and stuff in my opinion I think that's what their style is but really cool um, I like this little walk around thing that's what they really tried to do they really tried to insert lots of beauty into this uh, to the build I'm just gonna go ahead and destroy that because who cares it's only in my download but anyway you come in here and um, this here you got a bunch of pews where the uh, people can sit and uh, listen to the preacher or the priest I imagine just uh, as he preaches the holy word and then the people can come over here to the altar and uh, pray to the God I'm not sure if it's Christianity that they are worshiping um, looks like this is a organ over here um, interesting okay so yeah this is a organ and then uh, this is a pretty interesting design of a church here or a chapel I imagine it's probably a chapel so let's go ahead and go in now and see what there is to see um, there is a dining hall and audience chamber and such so we're gonna go inside real fast so this here is the main hall you come into here and this is the audience chamber where the king would see to you know the guests the people see to the needs of his people like they would come in and say this is what i want the king would say okay well i can do this for you um same thing with ambassadors you know merchants and stuff that have a case that they want to bring to the king he would do it all from here mostly at least and then special cases he would do elsewhere but still um you know every culture is different there's always exceptions and differences and such so here we got a little like a uh, room for books and uh, maybe a place for uh, I don't know looks just like a little room you know there's no real specific reason for that room you come into here and then this here is the dining hall very small dining hall but still it works looks like it's missing one seat there uh, at least it looks it looks like it but I don't know maybe they just didn't want a seat there um, and then you come into here and this is the kitchen you got a roast pig going on over the fireplace um, and then it's two stories tall very tall okay that's pretty cool you got a pantry up here lots of food being um, uh, stored up there and then you come down here and there is the rest of the castle so you guys can explore the rest for yourselves um, I would like to see the king's bedroom it looks like it's right here the reason why I thought it was there is because that's the biggest window that I could see on this side so um, it looks like that this is the king's bedroom um, it's very open which is cool <clears throat> it's not very detailed so that is a downside in my opinion there isn't really any detail to speak of uh, looks like the king will come out here and eat his cake and drink his wine um, but and then we'll come over to this side and this looks like the rest of his room in here um, either that or it looks like his room and this looks like a solar maybe a dressing room I don't know okay so this is the king's office right here and then this is where people would sit and wait to see the king so this is where the king would see to um, like special arrangements and stuff so like those that are uh, more important he would meet in there instead of the audience chamber I imagine um, so here's another bed up here not quite sure who lives here maybe the queen maybe the prince I don't know um, but there's lots of little things looks like another bed there um, and such like that so we aren't going to explore this anymore um, I'm just gonna try to figure out a way to get out and then we will yep there we go alright so if you guys want to see this for yourself go download the map over on planet minecraft and check it out for yourself um, download and enjoy make sure that you have all the conquest and stuff installed and uh, it'll lead you through that um, they they have a process over there that you would have to go through if you do not have conquest already but yes this is Aberina, Amberina, Amberina. um i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right um go ahead and tell me if i am or am not but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it was informational and hopefully that it was helpful to some of you maybe it gave you for those of you that uh, haven't played Minecraft before, maybe this gives you inspiration to maybe come join us on Minecraft and uh, join us on Conquest. Or for those of you that are not uh, using Conquest, maybe you can come join us on Conquest or join us on Ravend and uh, be a part of this community of builders that uh, 
builds awesome stuff. Cities and towns and villages and castles and fortresses and fantasy and all that good stuff. There's lots of good things that you can build with Conquest, but... Anyways, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that I have a Facebook and a Twitter that you can follow me on. I try to keep you guys updated over there and uh, tell you what's going on if I am. Um, so if you have any questions, ask me uh, in the comments below. And uh, yes, go download the map and go give them a diamond over on Planet Minecraft. That's a big thing. Go give them a diamond and show them your support. Um, and subscribe to their YouTube channel because they also have great videos over there. Um, so, yeah, the links are in the description below. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Till then, bye bye.